Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to read the info panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are times when you get bigger projects, when you have mixed media, and sometimes you just want to identify that clip. What format is this? Kind of forgot. Uh, is this the 4K, the HD, is this the 720p that I should be worried about? Is this a music file? What is all this stuff? Well, hidden behind all of your panels is the info panel, and that gives you information not only of what's in the, uh, the uh, bin, the project bin, but also right in the timeline. Let's have a look. So sitting back here behind the project, media browser, libraries, info, oh, look, there it is, info. And when nothing is selected, it's giving you the current position. And you can see as I move that, it gives me the current position of the playhead. And it actually mimics what's in the overlay. So if I turn my overlays on, you can see I get the same information there. It also gives me information when I click on a file. So as soon as I've clicked on that file, now I'm getting information. You can see that this is a video file. It's 23976, the audio is 48 uh, kilohertz, and there's a start and end time. Oh, I love this one, a duration. So if I trim this, let me go to the tail. I'm gonna tap my W key to uh, ripple trim the next edit. Boom, and look at that, the duration changes. That can be very useful. Remember, you can dock this panel wherever you want. So quickly selecting things down in the timeline gives you something like that, gives you that duration information. Well, what about a still? So I just clicked on a still image, and you can see this is a JPEG, and its um, duration is four seconds, 23 frames. Um, that's the start and end position of, of where it is in the timeline based on the, the uh, time code uh, in the sequence. And you can also see the size. So very quickly, I can tell that this came from a very large DSLR, my Canon 5D Mark III. And the music file, same thing, click on that. It shows me the, um, um, the sample rate of that file, and it shows me the, the duration of that. Very useful information for all of these files. And you can also just click on files directly in here and have the info. So if I actually tear this off, let me dock it to the right there and then open this up. So we've got both of these. Now, whenever I'm in my project bin, I can see it, even the sequence. So I just selected the sequence and you can see it gives me information on all of that inside the sequence. So uh, where is this useful? Well, like I said, in very busy projects, sometimes you're trying to find information about that file and um, you could, I mean, let's go have a look over here at the um, metadata information. You can actually see it gives you much of the same information. So when I'm clicking on it, it's there. It's just that it's incredibly buried sometimes way deep inside. So even if I click on you know, I've got a couple of rampant design tools uh, music clips in here, and you can see uh, it not only tells me that information, and it tells me where it's located on the disk, and it shows me lots of information. I find that's great, but like I said, the metadata panel is pretty darn buried, and sometimes you just want some quick information of whatever is on the timeline right there. All right. So info panel, the overlays, metadata, between all of them, you're going to have information about your clips that you're working with inside your project. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then down in the link, in the uh, description, there's a special link for you to download a free 30-day trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. You can have all the applications ready to go. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.